we were talking about my physical health and look my face is like swollen right so i don't know what's going on um but hopefully it goes it goes away it's inflammation and um i'm really struggling so um apparently they're still trying to figure out what's wrong with me um but I do suspect I have. That's so weird. I do suspect that I have uh, some autoimmune disorders and blood. I definitely have blood disorders, right? So um, I am putting effort into trying to look good for you, for you too. <laughs> but my body is attacking me. Okay, so these pimples were from my last period last month, right? And now I'm on my cycle now. I don't know if there's too much information, but I'm going to tell all my business, okay? <laughs> and I'm on my cycle now, and I got this acne here. And, um, like, usually when I get my period, my teeth really hurt. So those, those, are, those are hurting. And um, my jaw here hurts a lot and it's swollen and here also i feel like my cheeks are really swollen um but it's okay because it will go down uh i think it was like three weeks ago my foot was swollen on my left side so <laughs> so um my my little boy my little brother he said that uh i need to watch it uh, because it could be a sign of a of a heart situation so thank god the swelling went down after like i think an hour i think i was allergic to one of the tablets that i was taking as a multivitamin well not multivitamin as a as a vitamin supplement right because i have multiple deficiencies and multiple um multiple nutritional deficiencies also in addition to the blood deficiencies right so <laughs> it's okay it's not funny <laughs> but i have to um i have to make it fun somehow okay and um yeah so that's where i stand i was gonna say something else oh i was gonna say that look at the situation right i'm really from this drug life i lack so much in life i was deficient in so much in life that it literally became a part of my hematology <laughs> it's it's a funny and ironic kind of sense right it's funny and ironic kind of sense but i'm trying to make the best of shit that's why I'm doing YouTube videos because it was a dream. And hopefully, like, I took, um, you know, I'm a hustler, right? So I've been working, like, nonstop for the past three years um, to make sure that we're good, right? To make sure that me and my family are good, right? Um, I was working nonstop. So I decided to take, like, three weeks off and focus on me. Well, not necessarily focus on me. Focus on doing bucket list shit. Because you never know how much time you have on earth, right? And I don't want to spend all my time. Excuse me. It's the latte. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm like so uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want to spend so much of time. Um, so much of my life. I don't want to spend so much of my life not being able to live. Just because I'm from this drug life. Give me. I don't want to spend so much of my life not being able to live. Or depriving myself. Because, <laughs> because, like, when you're from this drug life, you really set restrictions on, your, on yourself. And you deprive yourself. 
not because you want to, but because your situations and your circumstances force you to do that. And I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> What's the point, you know? Not that I'll be ill-disciplined. I'll be disciplined, obviously. But I'm trying to take three weeks to myself. I want to make YouTube videos, a lot of them. I want to post on Patreon, just because I want to have the feeling of being a YouTuber. Because <laughs> you'll make it look, like people make it look so cool. Like they're YouTubers and they just talk to you all day. And um, so that's bucket list, which I'm doing now, which I'm really, really proud of myself. And if God didn't remove those people from my life, you would have never heard of me. I would not even be here. I would not have realized this dream, right? So that's completely fine. Now, uh, yeah, I want to do bucket list shit. Because I've never done it before. I've never really done anything. I've never lived. You know, I was always uh, trapped. And stuck and all kinds of bullshit. Just not living. And now I want to change things. I, I want to live. I want to know what it's like. You know? Anyway. Anyway, I... uh, For the next three weeks, we're going to be doing bucket list shit. And I'll post. I'll post about it. So you can have this experience with me. So, as I said, I'm extremely antisocial. But I don't want to feel alone. And by doing these videos, I don't really feel alone because you're with me, right? Okay, take it easy. Take care of your health, man. You know, I didn't realize how could go things could go so wrong so fast, you know? So take care of your health. In addition to chasing money, <laughs> take care of your health because I neglected that part of myself. And it's not that I regret not taking care of my health. It's just that I could, I could, I was never in a position to do that. I was never in a position to take care of my health like that, right? But I have to make it a priority now. In addition to hustling, in addition to whatever other bullshit I have going on in life, in this chaotic ass life. Anyway, take care of yourself, take care of your health. I wish you all the best if you're struggling with your health problems. I'm here. You're not alone. And I'm, I'm wishing you well. And I'm wishing you an abundance of health. And make sure you take care of yourself, okay? I just feel like kissing you. I'm sorry to violate you, but I just feel like kissing you. <laughs> take care.